Here we go, fans. It is that time again, America. The contestants continue to go, and the pressure continues to grow. They're fighting to stay on the show, and they all need your vote. The power to make or break is in your hands live on American Idol. Let's go. Welcome to American Idol. Now, just for a second, before we do anything, we would like to wish a true American Idol, Aretha Franklin, the queen of soul, a very speedy recovery. So we're thinking about you, Aretha, all right? Yeah, that's right. Big fans. Now, moving on, this is the show where you play record industry bigwig and choose your very own superstar. My name is Ryan Seacrest, and this right here is the mob of obsessive fans and family freeloaders we like to call our in-studio live audience. Let's hear you guys. That's right. Now remember, you're going out live to 30 million people. 30 million people. You nervous about that? No. You're enjoying it. All right, last week, friends, we had to say a tearful goodbye to Leah LaBelle, Oh, leaving us with just 11 contenders. And tonight, we're gonna test them with another kind of music. This time around, it is country. <laughs> country music. It's a bit of a challenge. If you thought country was all easy listening about your, your dog doing you wrong or your, your man getting hit by a pickup truck and all, all that stuff, think again. The Nashville sound, country rock, country pop, whatever you wanna call it, is really big in this country, so our contestants must bring it to do it justice. Let's get them out here. You ready? Here they come. Your American Idol finalist, starting with Diana DeGarbo. George Huff. Fantasia Burrito. John Stevens. Camille Velasco. Jennifer Hudson. John Peter Lewis. Jasmine Trios, Matt Rogers, Matoya London, and Amy Adams. There they are. Looking great, guys. Stand by for the action. And the judges have uh, ridden into town looking for some trouble tonight. Under this table here, he's wearing leather chaps and spurs, and uh, he didn't even know it was country night. Please say hello to the man in black, Simon Cowell. Next to Simon, of course, our very own darling, Paula Abdul. Paula fans, let's hear And even more laid back than usual, let's give it up for Bling Bling Jackson. Randy's here with us. the boots man you're a big fan are you country music you know i gotta have the boots on baby i love country music man being a boy from the south you know what i'm saying i i uh, i finally know what you're saying randy i hear you <laughs> it's bound to happen right 11 great performances coming your way and tonight we're taking the opportunity to learn a little bit more about our finalists we're gonna go way back to the early years get ready to aw a little bit when we check in with a very young a very cute diana de garmo look I've been singing since the age of five, and it really just started off where I did a talent contest to get ready for my elementary school talent show, which was like such a big deal. And I ended up winning. Oh, twinkling lights. Then somebody saw me there and was like, oh, can you come sing for us? And then somebody saw me there, you know, so it just kind of all snowballed. Oh, Funny so enough, I have become like the national anthem girl. I did in third grade was the first time I did it for a Braves game. 
people were like, oh, can you come sing at the Hawks game? Or can you come sing at our school function? And, you know, I really enjoyed it. And it's a song that I've kind of learned to do well, and I've kind of put my own thumbprint on it. I asked Nina once, what do you get out of singing? And she just said she loved the fact that people loved what she did. So I think you're either born with it or you're not. I've loved every bit of it. And it's been so much fun because I've gotten to see like all kinds of parts of the country and you know meet so many great people. And it's really been really fun. Yay! And here we go, doing some Martina McBride, and number one back in 1997. It's called A Broken Wing. Ladies and gentlemen, Diana DeGarmo. One Sunday morning, she didn't go to church. He wondered why she didn't. Went up to her bedroom, found a note by the window with a current blowing in the breeze. And with a broken wing, she still sings. She keeps an eye on the sky. With a broken wing, she. So you, you felt good about that, right? I did. And man, you worked started. it out, man. I think this is the best performance I think you've had. How long did you hold that note for? Oh, my God. I knew the second eight. I know. I mean, God. I mean, I'm just, like, blown away. That was incredible. Yes, it was. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Brandon, I think we should have a contest now to see who can hold the, the note for the longest. Yeah, I mean, I, I still you're think gonna, you're going to win. You will show. win. <laughs> You will win. Diana, you've obviously been doing this since you were a little taught. I can't picture you doing anything else. This is your career. You will be having a career for a long, long, long time. Thank you. Thank you. Brilliant. Uh, definitely the style of music that suits you, Diana. My only slight worry is when I see those, those images of you as a child. It's like... It's like <laughs> A sort of like a product of a pop farm. A, a pop, pop farm? farm? You know what I mean? It's As like, you know, a be, be, no, yes, but oh, I like being, being bred as an early child to sing, I, I find that all a bit. You mean, you mean being bred as an early child to be rude? No, like you. no, no, you're missing. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, you're, you're missing the point. Yeah, no, uh, I got it. I was Why, why I say own. that is, is that it's very effortless for you, this but you're not, to me, yet connecting with the audience properly. Oh, my okay. God. But that's oh. the way it's supposed to be for the song. Diana. Diana, I understand you're what brilliant. you mean. Thank you, though. Brilliant. You're brilliant. Forget him. Amateurs, experts. Forget him. Forget him. Forget him. Thank you. Diana DeGarmo, America. Come on over to your stool, Diana. OK. Hi. Well, way to kick it off. Great energy in here. People were on their feet after that performance. Randy Jackson won, Simon zero. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I think you're on fire tonight, Jackson. Question, though, for Cal, to connect, what, what would you recommend she does? Because it seemed to me, I looked at everybody here, and they were all connecting with her. So, maybe, maybe some, I, I know this is rare for you, but maybe some direction? No, it's, it's what you don't have. What is it? A connection. I don't have a lot of things, connection being one of them, trust me. 
If you'd like to vote for Diana DeGarmo, the numbers to dial, 1-866-IDLE-01. See, he avoided answering that because he doesn't know the answer. <laughs> That's 1-866-436-5701. Or at t Wireless subscribers, you can text the word VOTE to 5701. Lines open at the end of the show. We're going to take a quick break. Sink a cold one. We'll be right back in a few with George Huff. We got Fantasia Barino. We are off and running live on American Idol. <laughs> Welcome back to American Idol. We are live. The theme tonight is country. And look who I spotted. Champion, San Francisco 49ers. Steve Young is in the house, man. Stand up for a second. How are you, buddy? Come on, stand up here. Ladies, the ladies love them. They're screaming. Now, when you, when you become an American Idol on this show, you become a champion. So I was thinking you could give our idols some advice since you are such a... You know, a stud. I think it's all about harnessing the creative tension in performance. That's the big thing. Now, Randy knows what I'm talking about, Simon. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah! I think we could use him on the panel. Steve Young, thanks for being here, man. Thanks for watching our show. We appreciate it. <laughs> the next contestant is the one and only George Huff. My childhood, growing up in New Orleans, we grew up in the projects. We lived in the projects for like um, uh, maybe eight to ten years. You know, you have your hardships and everything, but you pick yourself up and you just find a, a, a place of peace in the situation that you're in. One of those places that I found was in my music, and I pursued it from church all the way up into college, where I even studied opera. Oh, God! No, no, no. That was me in the OU opera. Um, I was Belcore in the Elixir of Love. That's a fake mustache, and it was the biggest mustache that I ever had in my entire life. My mustache started growing when I was about, let's see, 14, 13 or 14, and well, actually 14 or 15. Or should I say 15 or 16? Now that the mustache is off, all of my friends are calling me saying, George, I like the mustache gone, and I am ready to just knock them dead. Get ready, y'all. All right. Hey, man, can I borrow this for a second? All right, let's do, let's do this the right way. Do a little uh, John Michael Montgomery. It's big. From 1995, also covered by All for One, I Can Love You Like That. It's George Huff, everybody. Take it away, George. They read you Cinderella, you hope it would come true That one day old Prince Charming would come rescue you All this time that you've been waiting You don't have to wait no more I can love you like that, I will make you my wife I mean, this was like the serious George tonight, man. Yeah. I mean, I didn't see like the church dance, you know, my dog hopping and stuff, man, you know. But it was good. I mean, you know, I liked it. I don't know if I was, I didn't feel the energy of the George I've come to right. know, but it was good. Randy. It was good. It, was good. it just Randy, wasn't exciting for me. Let me tell you something. 
You have the sexiest voice Ooh. ever. You got my heart, James. Thank you, you got Paula. my heart. That was Thank brilliant. You. I think it was Thank one of your you best so performances much. so far. <laughs> Thank you, Paula. You're welcome. You have a connection. That is a connection. It's natural. We're back, we're back to the connection. My, my, my only advice I'm going to give you, George, is, is that the moment you are looking as if you are totally in the hands of the stylists, and I think you have to create oh now... I just, to look like you, you? You mean like Ryan Seacrest? No, no, no. It's, oh. it's, oh. it's what Ruben had last year. He had his own sense of style, and I think it would be nice for you to develop that oh, as I well. Think he, I think he looks fabulous. I love that jacket. That jacket would look good on you. Well, uh, you say that, that, you you say that, that about, that about good everyone. You. you say that about everyone. This that's is good advice. Good jacket. Good jacket. Good nice jacket. Good All right, all right. Thank George you. George Hop, everybody. Thank Come on over, George. Good night. How you, How you doing, feel Mike? tonight? I'm, I feel good. I feel yep. good. I made it through again. So, yeah, that's, this is my dad right here. He sweats a lot. So This is your jeans, dad? Yeah, this is the jeans have been passed down. Oh, there he right. right there. Well, he's here supporting you that tonight, right? <laughs> I love you, Dad. I love you, Dad. When, <laughs> and, sir, I'm happy to have you on my hand. Uh, when, when you found out that the genre was country music, were you, were you a bit stressed out about it? Was it an easy thing well, for you? you know, on the list, there was a list, and um, I looked down on the list, and I saw I Can Love You Like That, and I said, I remember that song a yeah. long time ago, you know, so I'd heard it before, and, um, uh, and I sang it tonight. Yeah. I saw the signs. <laughs> Hup, I love your stuff over here. So you got fans. Hup, I love your stuff. I love your stuff too. Wherever you're at. Hey, George, let's talk about that style, the fashion, for a second, because uh, it has evolved a bit, right? Yes, it has evolved. Um, if you look at some old pictures of myself, you will see that I went through a whole bunch of different changes, you know. But um, I probably will go through some more. With are, my are you style. picking this know. out, or I, is I, there no, help? I leave, I leave it all up to the stylist. I said because really? I don't know what to do. So I say, stylist, you know, put me in something nice, and this is their fault. It's all your fault. Careful, you keep. But, that. <laughs> Careful, you but keep I that like up. It. I like it, though. I like this a whole lot. It looks good, man. Yeah, thank you so much, Brian. Thank you. But, but George, just just be careful. If you give him total control, you'll end up looking like me. So watch yourself, you don't buddy. Look bad, Ryan. You well, look I got a pink handkerchief in my pocket. All right, if you'd like to vote, I'm fine with it. If you'd like to vote for George, numbers one eight six six idle zero two. It's one eight six six four three six five seven zero two. Or you can text the word vote to 5702. Calls are toll free from landlines. Of course, standard text messaging rates apply. Don't call yet. You have to wait until everybody knows, right? The end of the show. 11 contestants fighting to make it to the next show. Shall we check in with Fantasia Barino? I think so. I come from a musical family. It's me, my two brothers, my dad, and my mom. We started a gospel group. My daddy put us all on the line and gave us our notes. And ever since then, we went everywhere singing gospel. And I was like a little kid. I opened up my mouth real loud, and the old mother just loved it. They'd be like, that baby can really sing. My family, they were struggling to get their music out there. And it never really went far. Nobody actually could help us and so they felt like it was just a curse on the family. This is my family guys and we love you. Yeah. When I made it to the finals, everybody started calling me in the family, uncles, aunts, cousins. And it was like, okay, you know what? They talked about this curse thing so long and now they actually see that it's being broken. I broke the curse. Go, a little Willie Nelson, also an Elvis cover. Always on my mind tonight, it is Fantasia Barino doing it. Take it away. Maybe I didn't treat you quite as good as I should have. And maybe I didn't love you Quite as often as I could have Little things I should have said and done I just never took the time Oh yeah, you were always on my mind You were always on my mind Take 
So yo, so yo, you, you're proving now that you can do a very controlled performance, because that was very controlled from you. It was still unbelievably great. I mean, you could probably sing anything, though. You know what I'm saying? Brilliant. There we go. I love the fact that you look like a beautiful, elegant lady tonight. I love the fact that you gave a more subdued performance. It yeah. was subtle, but it was so classy. And I love that about you, because I was getting, t I like the way you are now without having to go overboard. It really suits you beautifully. But she still put a little of her vibe in there, you know? But, she, but she infused her vibe, which is yeah. great. You don't have to be over the top. You can be subtle and, and exquisite. Thank you. Um, you've proven tonight that you are not a one-trick pony, which is good. <laughs> but I have a but. My problem is, is that I hope that this doesn't continue because you're not, which is probably why Paula likes you, a middle-aged singer. It's not you. You are... Are you kidding me? No, no, but that's probably why that you like her tonight. No, no, no. Wait a minute. No, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. No, 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 no. Hang no. on. No. 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 no, no, Let me finish. What no, I'm trying no, to say finish. is, Fantasia, why we love you is that you are young and fun and different and quirky. It looks tonight like your mother's dressed you, and and what? Simon, you, as if what? as if Simon has you the don't ability. Know Claire. Yeah. That's, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And you know what? You know what else is great? She took a classic song by Willie Nelson and a made classic, it your man. own, okay. and listen that's what me, makes. Fantasia, don't don't to become him. old. Oh, no. No. All I'm saying. Simon, I've no, proved, I love you. I love you. I've proved that I can do different yes, things. Absolutely. I didn't have to. I proved to you that I can. I can get down with the get down. So you know it's okay. <laughs> Fantasia Barino. Wow. I have to put him in his place. Okay. Yeah. You got to put him in his place, right? Yes. So what? You said. <laughs> what? What exactly did you say to him? Um, that get I down can get, get down with the get down. That you That's can right. get down with the get down. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Leave me, Simon. I think I, I honestly think she's genuinely upset with you, Simon. I am. <laughs> but then you said you said all of that. Hold on, you you you, you alright, sweetie? Okay. Okay. But you know, he he did all of that. Did you hear him? He did all of that and, and they argued and talked on top of each other, and then he at the end he said, I love you. Too. You know, it doesn't matter. He can say anything. Well, I'm matter. confused as all heck on this program tonight. If you'd like to vote for Fantasia Barino, who looks very elegant this evening, let's run down the numbers. We've got 1-866-IDOLS-03. It's 1-866-436-5703. You can text the word VOTE to 5703. All right, time for another break. I need to uh, check the hair. My grassroots are showing. You know what I'm saying? I, I saw that, Ryan. I know. Maggie. All right, well, let's patch it up. We'll be right back. More Idol after this. All right, guys, welcome back. American Idol, we are live. Have you noticed that this season we have this big, expensive, high-tech screen on our set? All right, let, let's, let me show you how this thing works. Let's see what this can do. Throw some up there, Kieran. What do you got? I don't know. I... I mean, something, something exciting, you know, send us into, like, uh, sensory overload. What you got in there? I Come on. Cuddles. Yeah, this will work.
There is definitely some tension building between the two of them this season. I knew he put that to good use. All right, let, let's get back to the uh, clean world of American Idol here. Uh, tonight's show is brought to you by, <laughs> you're blushing for the first time ever, I think, right now. I've never seen you turn so red. I'm excited. You're excited. <laughs> He's going red. Well, Paula said she's not. I'm sick. Don't, yeah, exactly. She's sick. Listen, don't believe. We could make this a three-hour special tonight, horror, you know? Horror, horror. All right, tonight's show is brought to you by the words country and cute, and they don't come any cuter than teeny tiny John Stevens. Look at this. When he was born, he was a carrot top. He was bald, but he had just enough hair across his top of his head that he had this orange glow. <laughs> and I was just thrilled because I've always loved red hair. My mother was a redhead and her mother was a redhead and I always loved redheads. I was just <laughs> ecstatic. I think he was a little bit nervous, <laughs> but... Because <laughs> redheads sometimes have a tough time of it. I hated it. I hated my hair. Little old ladies would come up to me and mess up my hair and, and pat it, and I just didn't like it. Lately, my confidence has been boosted. <laughs> I've definitely gotten more attention from the female population at my school. I guess I'm gradually coming out of my shell. Here we go. Back to 1965, little Roger Miller, king of the road. It is John Stevens. Trailers for sale or rent Rooms to let 50 cents No phone, no pool, no pets I ain't got no cigarettes But two hours of pushing broom Buys a 8 by 12, 50 room Mama, man of means by no means King of the road I know every engineer on every train All of their children and all of their names And every handout in every town And every lock that ain't locked when no one's around I sing third box car, midnight train Destination maker, man, I'm a man of means by no means King of the road no, no, no. Dreamer, but ever I'm a man of means by no means King of the road King of the road King of the road John, what's up, baby? Hold on, honey. What's going down, dog? Not much. You chilling? Yeah. Yeah, I'm nervous. No, dude, I know I've been hard on you, man, but you know, even though you forgot the words tonight, I must say I enjoyed you tonight for the oh. first time. The oh. first time, dude. I gotta give you your props, baby. I gotta give you your props tonight. Thanks, it was a perfect song and you sang it well. Thank you. Even though you forgot some words. But I'm proud of you because even though you did forget the words and you covered it very, very nicely. You did. You, did. you just did the la-la-las and the <laughs> da-da-dums. And you know what? I bet you none of you even realized that he forgot That's some right. of the lyrics. That's right. Well, there you have it. You're becoming more seasoned each week. And I'm Thank proud of you. This was a song that's totally in your, your unique little style. I liked it very much. Thank you. John, on the bright side, you only forgot the words in front of 30 million people. <laughs> <laughs> um, John, I, you know, it's very interesting when I talk to people, people either love you or hate you. Um, I actually think you're great. I really do. Um, <laughs> on, the, on the slightly negative side, you are, without question, the worst dancer we've ever had in any, <laughs> in any American Idol final. Um, and I think at some stage, you are going to have to learn to get your personality over. Because, trust me, this competition is as much personality as it is vocal ability. But I think you did really well tonight. Congratulations. John 
Stevens, America. Hey, man. How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. How are you feeling after being in Hollywood for a while now? It's good. Like Get, it. Getting used to it? Yeah. How's the mansion? It's nice. It's yeah? Nice. People treating you well there? Yeah. All right. So, t so tonight when you're singing your song and that, that happens, which, by the way, we didn't really realize until they brought it up, so they had to bring it up. But when, right. when that happens, what, what does it feel like inside? Because you have to think quickly and race to figure out what to do, right? Yeah. I uh, panicked, but... But see, it was, it was pretty good because we couldn't tell you were panicking, yeah. you know? I if, try, I try. If you'd like to vote for John Stevens, here are the numbers. It's one 866 idol 4 that would be one 866 4 or at t Wireless subscribers can text the word VOTE to 5704. Remember, these are one 866 digits, not 800. Anybody who misdials is asking for a serious whooping, all right? Be careful. We'll be right back with Camille Velasco. So put the remote down. Don't go anywhere. We're live on American Idol. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to American Idol. We are live. Thank you so much for staying with us. Now, you are voting to keep your favorite Randy in the competition. That is the way it works when you're watching at home. And remember, you can check out the idolonfox.com site for backstage access. We got new video <laughs> clips. You can even uh, give your favorite idol a virtual makeover. What are you doing? What's all that mean? <laughs> Just trying to give you props while you get Maybe down, Randy will you know explain what that means on the website. <laughs> get ready to gaze no, into no. the baby eyes of Camille Velasco. Props, props. <laughs> I was born in the Philippines, and I moved to America when I was like a year old. Camille is my firstborn, and I, I think a, a firstborn is always so uh, clingy to me. I grew up there with my mom, my real sister, who's three years younger than me, and my real dad. My real dad now lives in Japan, because he's in the Navy. When I was about 10 years old, my mom married my stepdad. We get along great. I get along with my stepdad. He's a really mellow guy. To a certain degree, I'm her stepdad, and she's my stepdaughter, but we threw those terms out a long time ago. We have a great relationship, and we love each other, and that's what it's all about. Camille really loves her siblings. The thing she's most proud of being is an older sister. Of all the siblings, JJ is closest to Camille. For some reason, JJ is a lot more comfortable with Camille. Divina is uh, crazy about Camille. When Camille walks in the door, she just drops everything, follows her around the house. You know, we taped the show, and Divina's just been watching it every day, several times a day, singing along with her sister. She's her biggest fan. I want to be a star just like her. So cute. All right, let's do a little Eagles. 31 years ago, they did Desperado. Now it is Camille Velasco. Desperado, why don't you come to your senses? Here you've been out riding fences for so long now. Oh, you're a hard one. That you got your reasons And the things that are pleasing you Can hurt you somehow Don't you draw the queen a diamond boy She'll beat you if she's able Know the queen of hearts is all We should be as bad And it seems to be But you only want the ones that you can get Desperado, why don't you come to your senses? You better let somebody love you. Let somebody love you. You better let somebody love you before it's too Yo, yo. 
Uh, okay, you know what? It was all right for me, man. I wasn't really, like, over the top about it. It felt very jerky the way you were singing it, because I know you were trying to make it your own and put, like, a little soul R&B hip-hop vibe in there, but I just didn't get it, man. I didn't get it. It was just all right for me. I, I really, I love your voice, Camille. I mean, I, I've been com complimenting you week in and week out. And I, I, see, I see the soulfulness coming back. It's creeping back in your performances, and that's what I love about you. And you flipped the song, made it your own. I think you did a great job. And you're beautiful. Stop it. Yeah. Oh, Stop it, Carl. Um, you look great. Um, this is so loud in here when we listen to it. Uh, so it's very difficult to, uh, to, to, to know what the audience at home are listening to. I've got a horrible feeling that's going to sound out of tune. Really? I re yeah, I really do. I think she was out of mm. tune. Yeah, there and, were parts. There and were I parts. think, Camille, I've said this to you before, I honestly think your nerves are going to be your problem in this competition because you are not conquering your nerves yet. You don't look comfortable, and that means the audience at home aren't going to be comfortable for once, with you. I agree with you because that's uh, what hurt you with the singing the song for me. That's why I was so jerky. See, you know? I felt this week that she was coming through. I felt you were coming through, and you were starting to feel your place on the stage, and I, I, I got a better take on it. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Camille Velasco, America. Come on over to me. How you doing? I'm all right, man. How you doing? I'm cool, I'm man. I'm great, actually. You're great. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Now, they mentioned the nerves. We talk a lot about what it feels like to be in front of the judges. What about the final seconds before you walk out here and have to sing your song? What's that like? Gosh, I mean, initially, you know, you get really scared, but the music starts right away, so you just have to do the dang thing, you know? That changes everything once you start right, singing. Right, right. All right, well, good luck tonight. Here are the numbers for Camille. one 866 idol 5 That's one 436 5705 Or you can text the word VOTE to 5705. And for anyone who's been trapped down a well for the last three months, you can't vote until the end of the show, so hold on. Now, if you think the life of an AI contestant is just constant glamour and glitz, well, it's not always like that. It can be a bit dull. Here's what I'm talking about. We'll be right back after the break. Look at this. Welcome back to American Idol. We are live, sitting here with some of my friends. You enjoying the show? Yeah, it's great. It's great, isn't it? It's a lot of fun, right? Yeah, right from Australia. Oh, right from Australia. Great. Well, thanks for making the trip. Now, let's say that you wanted to, while you're here, you wanted to vote with your AT&T wireless phone by sending a text. Well, how would you do it, Ryan, you might ask? Right? I mean, well, you might ask that. And then you go to the message screen, all right, on your AT&T phone. You type the word vote, V-O-T-E, select options, then send. Enter the uh, contestant number right there, you know, 5-7, whatever you want, whoever you like, and then send again. It's very easy, isn't it? When you give the description, yes. Could you repeat it for me? Yeah, I go to the options screen, and <laughs> I wasn't really listening, sorry. <laughs> story of my life uh, <laughs> tune in next week where Randy Jackson is going to show us how to tie our shoes everybody uh, moving on we're celebrating the world of country and we're up to a young lady by the name of Jennifer Hudson as a kid I was always the little one Jennifer was a small child she would eat, but she wouldn't pick up no weight. And my mother used to lay up at night like, what's wrong with my baby? I was so worried about her. It seemed like I could see her ribs or something, you know? My mother actually took me to the hospital and was like, OK, my child is too thin. What's wrong with her? But the doctor said she was fine, that she weighed and what she was supposed to weigh, and that I shouldn't worry about it. Gradually, as I grew older, you start to fill out. And then I never was really a really big kid until I got like into my her late teens and early 20s, and that was like the largest I'd ever been, which was a size 22. Jennifer went on a, a diet. I did it because, for one, it was a challenge. Someone challenged me and said, oh, you can't do this and you can't do that. And I know I can do anything I put my mind to. So I said, I'm going to lose this weight, and I did it, and here I am. And here she is, a number one for Winona Judd in 92. No one else on earth. It is Jennifer Hudson. I've been no rock and I've got my fences. I never let them down. But when 
When it comes to love, I keep my senses. I don't get kicked or run. I shivered once. You broke into my soul. The damage is done now. I'm out of control. started off, you know, Kyle was talking earlier about this being kind of a safe night with some of the performers. Mm. But, you know, you broke into it at the end, trying to, trying to get revved up, get your feelings going and everything. You had a couple of pitchy things at the end, but overall, I thought it was a good performance, because I was worried at first, man. I was like, it's just starting a little down, you know what I'm saying? But good, and I like the straight air, yo. Thank you. Thank you. I like it too. Overall, first of all, I love your hair like that. I think that you look great. I also feel like you need to, um, Jennifer, I want to get your personality back again. Like, I feel mm. like you're kind of holding back a little bit. Mm. I don't know quite how to articulate it, but it's not, I don't feel like the real Jennifer's punching through. And I don't know quite what it is. I don't know. Just not sure. Aww. And it's not a bad thing. No, I just, it's not a bad thing. You it's sounded great. I just, I feel like that energy that was there at the beginning. That's okay. funky kind yeah. of, yeah. Well, I got funk, I got style, I got attitude. I can give you whatever you, you want. And I want to see more of it. That's it right there. I want to see That's more of that. That's what we want. That's, That's what, what we want. want. Break through. <laughs> oh, God. Let me sum this up for you. Oh, please. I think you're out of your depth in this competition. What? I think you're out of your depth. You must How be kidding. You say that? Uh, because, I, uh, well, because I think there are better singers and performers in this, in the 11 people left. That's are what it serious? is. That's why you found it difficult to say anything. Jennifer, she can't sing? Look, look, Randy, don't be facetious. No, can she, she sing? She can sing. The problem is there are people better than her, and I don't think you're capable of doing anything better to, to have any chance at all of winning this competition, But Jennifer. guess what? I don't think that's true. Guess so. what? You know, she can he's sing right about up. one thing. There may be some people better, but out of the 11, there's five good people, and you're one of them. Absolutely. Hey, thank you. Hey. Jennifer Hudson. You ain't seen my best. Come on over, Jennifer. Good to see you tonight. Thank you. Welcome to your stool. Hi. Now, remember the, uh, the people watching, they determine all this. They decide. Right. So let's get the votes right now. If you're watching, you like Jennifer Hudson, here is the number to call. It's 1-866-IDOL-06. It's 1-866-436-5706. Or you can text the word VOTE to 5706. Wait until the end of the show. Because that's the way that they designed it. We'll be right back on American Idol after this break live.